Hey Cute People, I'm here with a tag, Confessions of an Internet Addict. This tag was created by Sexy Farah, and I want to show her some support. So if you're a person who, most likely you are, addicted to the internet, and you like to have fun, and you want people to know a little bit more about you, then do this tag. It's really just a cute little tag, and like I said, I just want to show Sexy Farah some support. And I like tags. So here we go. How long do you spend online? Anytime that I am in my house, I am online. I'm online in between cooking, in between cleaning, in between watching TV shows. While I'm watching TV shows, if it's not anything that um, will really keep me busy, busy, mind, body, and soul, while I'm doing it, I am online so if i have to count the hours i'd say maybe about eight hours a day collectively and i'm only online when i'm in my house what am i doing online i'm listening to music downloading music watching movies um checking emails i have facebook and instagram but i'm not on it constantly i do check it to see what other people are talking about what other people are doing uh, what else am I doing I am researching I like to read a lot of news websites sometimes gossip websites also but pretty much uh, if I'm watching a movie I'll google the movie see if I can find information about the movie you know like what year it was made how much money they spent on it how you know, just little historical things about the movie that I'm watching. I do the same thing about CDs. Depending on who the CD or who the artist is, I'll Google the CD and see if I can find out information about the CD, like who some of the producers and who wrote some of the songs. I know. I'm crazy like that. But, hey, that's what the Internet is for. If you want to know, Google it, baby. What kind of computer do I have? The one that I use the most is my MacBook Pro. I was dying to get this MacBook Pro. And I finally got it, and I'm very pleased with it, and I'm happy that I got it. What device do you use the most to go online? Usually, all the time, most of the time, my MacBook Pro. Every now and then, I'll use my iPad. But since I'm home, like I said, on my device, I just go on my MacBook Pro. I wanted to use my iPad like when I had to leave the house. I'm going somewhere because it's small, compact, but I don't because I live in New York City and I don't want nobody bopping me over the head on the subway or every time somebody walks near me, I'm kind of nervous, you know, because here in New York and I'm sure a lot of other major cities, they snatch up stuff like that, you know, um, your iPads and your Dr. Dre beats and all that. I'm not trying to be a victim. I'm not trying to bring somebody to me to make me a victim. Um, does your online time interfere with your relationships? No, 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 no. If my close family is here, I'll get online. Or if I'm at their house, I'll get online. So that's not a problem. But it doesn't interfere with any type of relationship I have because I know when to put it down. Because whatever it is that I'm looking for, since it's the internet and online, the world wide web, I can always get the information I'm looking for. It's not going anywhere. So I know when and how. I should put it down, when I should put it down, and how come I should put it down, which that didn't make sense, but you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't have the internet, what would you be doing? If I didn't have the internet, I'd probably be reading more. Did I say I read when I'm online? Yeah, I um, download books into the Kindle um, app that I have, and also my iBooks, so I download books and I read. Depending on where I'm feeling, I might read it directly from my computer, very rarely from my iPad. But, um... I would be knitting. I love to knit. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't knitted anything much since I've been hooked on this internet, a.k.a. YouTube. I haven't knit anything. Um, that's what I would be doing. When it's too much enough, I have to agree with Sexy Farrah there. When I am tired and my head feels like it's about to fall off my shoulders and I know I need to put the computer down and get some sleep. That's when enough is really enough. Or when I make goals for myself or say I need to do something as far as in the house and I don't do it like, again, like I told you, I'm in my house on my computer most of the time. So if I say I want to 
I don't know, clean the bathroom, do a real good cleaning. And I didn't do it because I'm watching some makeup YouTube video. Like my son says, Mom, what you doing watching makeup videos? Then I'm like, man, you letting these videos get in the way of what you're supposed to do. So that's when it's too much for me anyway. The last question, do you think you can go one day without the internet? Yeah, I can go one day without the internet. If I'm not home, if I'm home, I'm not sure how that's going to fare out because there's always something to do on the internet. I mean, like I said, you can watch movies, listen to music, download music, read a book. I mean, you have to have internet, you know, to do all those things. So, but I, I could. If you take my devices from me, you know, but if they sit near with me, no, no, I probably could do it, but I don't, I don't want to, no, me, I don't want to. Now, one thing I want to say to Sexy Farrah also is that I myself play The Sims 2. I play the um, free play Sims. I think that's what you call it. The one when you get the app off, um iTunes, the uh, App Store, yeah, I played that one. So if you play that one, I know you have it because I haven't played it in a long time. Now that I'll play on my iPad. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get into them tonight because my people, um, I don't think they're dead, but they're not too happy because it's been months because I let these makeup videos get in the way of me checking out my Sims people. But yeah, I'm an internet addict and um, I confess to it. I ain't ashamed because if, well, a lot of people are for whatever reasons. But it's fun to be in my life, ain't it though? See, I told you guys this um, tag was very short, cute. And for me, I can't believe I... Okay, I'm not even gonna say it because you can be like, yeah, you keep going, you're gonna you're gonna go over ten minutes. But anyway, I tag anybody like I said who wants to have fun to do this um tag video. If you do it, let sexy Farrah know. Let me know too, because I'm gonna let her know that I did the um tag because she asked if you do the tag to, you know, um leave the link in her video, which is what I'm going to do because she's such a nice person. I like her videos, I really like how she does makeup and she puts all those pretty colors together so check her out there too and i'm going to end this video because it's saturday i ain't cooking a thing but i'm hungry i want to eat so i'm going to go see what we got in the um fridge and hopefully this video was not too dark because i wanted to do it before you know um i lost a lot of light so i just want to thank you for stopping by and checking out this video hopefully i'll see you in the next and you know i want you to Share and spread love. Hey cute people, subscribe to my channel and check out my last three videos if you missed them. Also, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram as Ebony Girl Speaks. Facebook, I'm Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.